Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a run chart, also known as a trend chart, in Excel. This is a useful thing to know how to do when you have any kind of data that varies with time. Uh, for instance, production data. Let's say you have a small company and you're making widgets. I, I have a spreadsheet set up here and it has three columns. It's just fictional, of course. And it has the week, the number of widgets produced during that week, and the number of defects produced during the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chart and it's going to be a scatter chart. But what you want to do is find the, uh, the menu called charts and we're going to make a scatter chart. So I'm going to click here on scatter and I always like to start with just points and then later on maybe I can draw lines between them but it just looks a little better. And so we've made a chart and now we're going to select the data for the chart. So you, depending on your system you want to find something called select and we're going to select a data range. So the first data series, we're going to say add, and we're going to select the X values. So we're going to click over here where it says X values, and then we're going to select the, the, the numbers in the week column because the week is going to be our X axis. So I scroll down here until I get to uh, uh, the end of November is as far as my data goes. And then on the Y values, we're going to select, I, I just, whatever the default is here, I always just delete. I'm not sure what that is. It's always there and we're going to select the range of values in the number of widgets produced. So we do that, we've selected the range, and now we're just going, oh, and, and the third thing is I'm just going to type in the name, or actually I'm going to click on the name field and go over here and click on the cell that says widgets produced, and that means that whatever is in that cell will be the title of that data series. And then I'm going to say OK. I clicked on OK, and there's my chart. I've got the number of widgets produced per week and I'm just going to make it a little larger so that you can see. And here we have uh, a run or a trend chart showing the number of widgets produced per week. We can do the same thing. We could go back in with the data, select the data, and this time we could select the defects and have a second series on it that shows the defects and then so that you can see your production rate and the number of defects per week and allow you to track um, how you're doing. Obviously, you can apply this to anything where you're varying with time. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to make a run chart, also known as a trend chart, in Excel. Thank you for watching.